What's going on, guys? You're back with another epic video. Guys, I can't tell you how psyched I am for this video. <laughs> uh, I've, as soon as I saw the support and I watched M Colt's 40 video, <laughs> video on this, dude, I'm so hyped. So I made. I want to make this video and focus more on the Scar Claw cards. As you guys know, that's one of the main focus of points of my deck. Uh, so if you guys are interested in Scar Claw, definitely uh, consider subscribing. If you're not already subscribed and liking the video, definitely appreciate and could use your support. Uh, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, if you guys didn't believe me that Scar Claw was the next Tier Zero deck, watch this video and let me know if you think <laughs> if you thought I was wrong before. This, I, mean, I, I don't know. You could watch this and tell me that I'm definitely wrong, <laughs> wrong now. <laughs> All right, so we got Scar uh, Scar Claw Shatala. He's a level seven Earth Psychic, zero attack, 2600 defense. Uh, so what you can do, you can use each one of this name effect once per turn during the main phase. And this is one of the cards I've been saying, guys, the deck has been needing for to fix the deck. And we got it. Uh, during the main phase quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, banish one Shatala or Scarclaw from your, from your hand or graveyard. So it's easy. You could just do one of the, you know, like the Light Heart that you link off or anything like that. Or just the Shatala from hand and bring back the Shatala monster. This is so broken. So... This is what the deck's been, you know, missing that I've been saying for a long time to help fix it. So that's going to be fantastic. It also can attack in defense, guys, and you use its defense points at basically during damage calculation. So it's a 2600 monster that you could special summon from hand. Uh, so, so now it's even easier for you to get even more so than get around the window than before. And it's a Scar Claw card, so you can add it with the field spell. So it's you can just pull it straight to your hand. So no longer is, you know, it's even easier to get around window than before now. And then three, even two guys, negate the effects of uh, your any opponent monster that battles a Shatala, a Scar Claw monster, you control it to the end of the turn. So that would be for like Tryhard as well too, because it says monsters. So that, that's insane. It gets even better though. The support just keeps going up, guys. So the continuous spell is even way even better. So Scar Claw, Defang, Unleashed Primitive Planet. Uh, so this one is you can only use uh, three effects of this card once per turn. Uh, this one, Scarclaw Link Monsters and Visit Star Frost Monster Control cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. That's so good, guys. It protects you when you go for just your standard normal summon or, or anything else in that matter. Uh, they can no longer pop your cards. They'll be forced to pop the spell card. So they're going to have to pop that to get rid of it, which means your monster lives, which is what you wanted anyway. <laughs> uh, the second effect, monsters destroyed by battle with Scarclaw Link Monsters. So when you go to battle with your Triheart... Uh, or your Star Frost, the monsters are banished and said that's even more. That's even more OP. We don't even really need it, but it's just kind of icing on the cake, if you know if that makes sense. Uh, you can banish one Scar Claw monster from the field or graveyard to target one card from your opponent controls. Destroy it. So it's another way to destroy stuff uh, as well. So it's just another board breaking card. It's another one to get rid of back row cards. Is mostly what I would use it for, just because we can usually wipe the field with pretty much anything else. There may be a few times that you may have to wipe a monster or like a link monster off the board rarely but mostly i'm going to use this obviously for back row removal uh the trap card that we got as well that can uh, you could kind of use uh in the deck as well too is uh i'm not sure how you pronounce this tri 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 i'm not even gonna try uh you can only use each effect once per turn target one visa star frost monster you control and one effect monster your opponent controls and negate that effect uh the opponent's monster if you do that monster gains attack original t uh, attack whichever is higher you know attack or defense we don't really care about that effect it's the second one that's good guys and it's going to be really good like in the tier element scar claw build that i posted this is the perfect card for that deck so read the second part you can banish this card from your graveyard add one spell or trap card that mentioned visa star frost so you could add the basically any of the tier element like the field the field spell for the tier elements any of the fields the traps for the tier elements, the spells for the tier elements, and same for the Scar Claw. I can go back and I can add, we can add the spell card that we just talked about here. I can add this from, banish this from my graveyard and add this from the deck to my hand. So it's an easy way to instantly pull this, or you can pull the Scar Claw field spell with this as well. So that's just so ridiculous, man. And it's going to be coming out of this set, the Photon uh, Hypernova that's got all of the, uh, ga the new Galaxy support that we're going to be getting soon. Guys, let me know what you guys think of the new cards that will be coming out. I appreciate you guys' love and support. Make sure you guys uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good night.